Hi everybody and welcome to Monday morning. It has not even hit nine o'clock yet and myself and Rebecca, say hi. Hello. <laughs> we are already in the shop. We've started to now, uh, or we decided to now open from 9am every day. Uh, not so much because we've got lots of customers beating down our door at 9am, but more because we have a lot of work to be getting on with. Um, and we often find ourselves at thinking, yeah. Oh, we, we should, should easily do another yeah. hour because yeah. of the amount of work. So, yeah, um, we, we always feel like there's more work, isn't there? Yeah, so, so. We've, we've added an extra hour to the start of the day rather than the end of the day. Yeah, so, um, so we're going to be just basically getting shipping done. Obviously, we've got the weekend's orders to go out, but also getting on with things like testing products listing because I've already gotten a big backlog of electronics, etc., that I need to actually test so they they can get onto the um, get onto eBay, get listed and sold, so they you know stop taking up so much room in the back. First job of the day is to finish off shipping. Rebecca started on it yesterday on Sunday, so we've got a little pile of of parcels uh, ready to go out there. Uh, but there's still a few that need to be picked and packed. Um, then we need to get this lot photographed so it can get um, live on our website and on eBay. And then obviously we just need to carry on with listing um, all the other bits that we picked up this weekend and um, what well, last weekend. Yeah, the first obstacle that we're going to be faced with today is the fact that for some reason our WordPress site is not loading um, and it's not a fault with the site or anything um, it's that GoDaddy hosting for whatever reason is down and we can't log into our website which means we can't uh, list anything on our website uh, which means that unless we're listing stuff um, which means we can't operate our point of sale till system, which also means if we can only list items that um, are due to go directly on eBay only, so we can't list items that obviously need to go on our website and whatnot. So that is now the um, current situation. But luckily, it's a great example of why it's good to always have work at hand because even though our website is down, uh, Beck and I both still actually have plenty of stuff to be getting on with that's just ebay related yeah the, the only yeah. thing is that we're probably gonna have to concentrate on the large electricals today yeah um yeah because yeah other stuff is going to want to go on both yeah ebay and our, our website. so yeah large electricals and uh, other bits that aren't suitable for the old shopo i'm just about to have my breakfast which is a single shot of espresso with a dash of milk i've made myself a nice jalapeno and cheese thin sandwich like toasty thing really nice um, once that's been eaten it'll be time to focus on the shipping although I'm hoping that Beck will actually do that I don't know. despite doing a bunch of shipping yesterday uh, we still actually obviously have got some orders that have uh, sold overnight etc and this morning that need to go out so I'll show you what's actually uh, needing to be shipped firstly we've got this little job lot of Hasbro WWF figures Oops. and um, one of those figures on its own is worth like 40 odd pounds this is giant Gonzalez and then the rest also went to the same buyer so I've got a little bag of those sold um, we've sold more of these Transformers books these have done really well for us that one we sold for like 13 that one we sold for 30 which is insane um, and we still got about I think we've only got like four or five of those books left they've done really well for us um, we then sold this Tifal Raclette grill which I paid a fiver for at the car boot and this actually sold yesterday at 6.30 in the morning whilst I was at the Sunday car boot and this is going in the UK as well so it sold for 30 plus 7.99 shipping from £5 which I'm very pleased with these two items are obviously like sales from the shop we have got uh, an Elvis Presley figure which sold for like 32 quid, and an Ash figure from Alien that sold for 40 quid. and we've also got this here which is a guitar pedal thing that I bought and showed just the other week we paid I think two pounds for that and that sold for 18 and finally we sold that which is oh gosh we sold this <laughs> oh gosh um, finally we sold this which is the uh, Mattel uh, guitar piece we've actually decided to remove the guitar from a bunch of our honky tonk man figures and it's already started to pay off this guitar sold for 10 pounds on its own it will go as a large letter um, and we've already got interest in these so this is like a breakable guitar uh, that actually comes with the honky tonk man wrestling figure so uh, we've sold one of those so really pleased but now that all needs to be shipped out now the only thing is um, I've shown you what needs to go out but typically we 
have not ordered enough packaging material so uh, I've got no more bubble wrap left I keep on running out of it it's really bad management on my part however the last time we were in a pickle like this I decided to take a trip to the charity shops and I found some wallpaper which did the perfect job as packing material so we're gonna do the same thing so I've just come back from the charity shop um, and found this lovely roll of wallpaper which is going to be used as packing material for 99p and whilst I was there I picked up a Sony stereo for 12.99 and this is actually quite a nice little find um, it comes with its speakers the speakers are just down there and they're in good condition it's very clean and it comes and and it does come with its remote control as well again in very good condition um, I have seen completed on eBay for this stereo of £75, so for £12.99, I think that's well worth picking up. Right guys, just a little bit of an update. Um, I've just come back from dropping the parcels off, and while I was out, I actually did a bit of our food shopping. Got a, um, Went to the butchers, got some food sorted for later, which is fantastic. Um, the plan for the rest of the day is after having lunch, Beck is currently having her lunch, um, but after after lunch we're going to get down um, and do more listing um, get down to doing more listing so far I have actually listed these uh, Star Wars figures that we picked up sorry Star Wars God Star Trek figures that we picked up at the car boot yesterday um, and those are listed now for six pound a pop so they're nice and cheap a uh, little item for someone to pick up in the shop if they want and they're on the website too so that's done some great news guys um this was the stereo i picked up this morning when i went out to buy some wallpaper for packing material i saw this for just 12.99 and i've just finished testing it and thankfully it's really excellent condition it's immaculate condition for its age the cassette works flawlessly both sides on the auto reverse mini disc works the cd player works everything works perfectly the remote is pristine and it's very clean um, I expect my 12.99 pickup here to fetch me about 130 pounds on eBay or around that ballpark probably a little bit less but I think 130 is achievable on something of this condition right so um, I've just taken some time to open up this system that I picked up at the car boot for I think it was 10 pounds on Sunday now this system in good condition can fetch over 200 pounds on eBay but unfortunately this has come from what looks like to be a very heavy smokers home and this disc tray was jammed I had a quick look online and there's a service manual which showed that by removing the side panel and putting a flathead screwdriver through there you there's like a tab which releases the CD tray most hi-fis will actually have something like that and that did release the tray and I, it just needed a, just a, like a little bit of um, help just to pull it out give it a little clean because it literally everywhere in this system it's got signs of just dust and tar and just nastiness so it needed a clean and now it's actually working absolutely you know fine is but you can just see where I've cleaned clean the tray versus where I haven't how dirty it is I'm gonna give this a good wipe down with isopropyl alcohol I just don't have any in the shop right now so I'm gonna be giving it a good wipe down a good clean um, everything else is working I've just tested the CD to hard drive function which is one of the reasons this does fetch over 200 pounds and that works perfectly so um, after giving it a good clean putting it back together I think I'm gonna end up just selling the unit on its own a, it'll make it easier to ship, but also the state of these speakers. I mean, these are the speakers um, that came with the system. They're just gross, um, but they would be perfect for like shop speakers to test hi-fi that I pick up. So I think my £10 will still get me a really good return on, on, on what is a working unit. It's just, you know, I'm going to have to obviously say that it has come from a heavy smoker's home. Um, and as such, pongs a little and, you know, has the effects of it. Right guys, so um, this is now going to be my in-shop setup because I've been picking up electronics again, there's no doubt about it, I think I've gotten the bug back. So these are the horrible stained and smelly speakers that we got from this system over here. And I'm going to use these in store, give them as best a clean as I can, but they're going to be stained on the cone anyway. But this is now going to be paired with this Sony amp that I picked up a few weeks ago. I paid, I think it was £40 for it. There is resale value in this, but I think it'll be a nice amp to have in the shop. And I'm just currently testing this Thorin's turntable, which may or may not be sold, but it's definitely working. Um, but that's uh, to be decided. There is another turntable that I'm definitely selling, but this one is... Um, it's really, really nice, and I'm going to have to think about it. Let's just check out Rebecca's reaction to me thinking about keeping the Thorns turntable. 
it's been one of those days where we just don't know where the time has gone. It's gone past six o'clock and it, we haven't stopped. It feels like we just haven't stopped and still it doesn't feel like we've actually done as much work as we would have liked. I think we have done a lot of work, but I think it's just the fact that of knowing that there's still lots of really, really good stock, which in the past I would have been desperate to list and I'm still desperate to list it because it's really good. It's just getting to it. Um, so it's a great problem to have because we we have been listing. Uh, we've listed on website as well, haven't we, Han? So we have. We've, we've listed been on eBay on the web. Yeah. Toys yeah. On the website and on eBay. eBay so yeah. It's doubling up. Yeah. So our, our next job is going to be to start promoting the fact that we do actually have a retro toy uh, and a used toy section on the website, but it is exclusively going to stay on the website. Um, if people want to buy stuff, they can come and collect it, or obviously we can deliver it, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be on sh on display. So it's kind of going to be like on a, you, if you know that we sell it, that's fine. And it's on the website, it's fine. But, yeah. but in the shop, I still think we're going to keep it all nice and new. Right guys, it's now actually um, Tuesday afternoon uh, and the England-Germany match is on right now. I didn't get a chance to finish the vlog off um, because we've just been busy as usual uh, getting a lot of work done in store and for the website uh, we've been really busy getting a bunch of retro stuff listed onto the retro use section of our website so we just listed a whole bunch of that Hasbro stuff and I've been testing cleaning and photographing some electronics because we've got quite a lot of decent three-figure electronics that need to be listed so we've been getting on with that so it's been a bit go 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 but we're gonna try our best to keep fitting in these vlogs and we're gonna actually be doing our Friday chat again as well so hopefully some of you will be able to join us for that too um, anyway I'm gonna wrap up the vlog I didn't share anything I'm gonna wrap up the video now I know I didn't share anything of what happened today but um, it's more of a just to wrap up what I recorded yesterday thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye